Oh, wait a minute. If you look at the book that Robin's reading, it's like Chopper. And this is Kawaii, which obviously means cute. That's so cool. It's a nice little like Easter egg. Let's not distract from the main reason why we're looking at it. そんなに分かれたくなきゃ力ずくで連れてくれよかったんだうわ野蛮人最低マリモ分かったよ好きなだけ泣いてろやっと島を出たみたいねご苦労様of course i just have her ass in frame like that <laughs> perfect no。組織の仇討ちか Bro, Nami's just straight up looking at Robin like, damn, now I got like triple D competition, bro. What is this? I thought I was a top tier waifu. Monkey D. Luffy. Anata,忘れてないわよね。おい、お前、嘘つくな。俺は何もしてねえぞ。いいえ。耐え難い仕打ちを受けました。責任取ってね。意味わかんねえやつだな。どうしろってんだよ。私を仲間に入れて。崩れゆく
おめえらすげえ船大工なんじゃねえのかよ査定の結果は聞いただろう船の全国の土台となる Are you kidding me? Okay, they do, they're cutting a lot of corners with this pre time skip stuff. Obviously, to just get through it. But they, they couldn't even make an iceberg character model. They have his picture, like, that's the game's picture. And look at Luchi. Luchi has a CP9 outfit on. Like, they just keep it out of frame with the hair. So what's going on back there? Bro, what is happening behind Luffy and Nami? Fucking, what is this, Three Stooges? What's happening? Can we chalk Frankie's goons up to like freaking... God tier with how stealthy they are because like not Luffy and Nami have not realized what's going on behind them. Look at that, right? <laughs> it's like a <laughs> it's like a... they're talking about a serious conversation about the fact that the going Mary cannot be fixed and no matter amount or no amount of money could fix that and then you need to buy a new ship. And then you have this slapstick humor like in the background going on with this jazzy ass great music though. What is happening? フネを買う気になったらまた来い。せっかくソラジマの黄金を売って修理代も手に入れたのに肝心の船の修理ができないんじゃ。おい、ナミ、大変だ。金の入ってるケースがないぞ。ちょうだいやめてよ。あのお金
he's like a, a character that's um, uh, technical. <laughs> I don't know why I can't find the damn word because I'm stupid. You gotta relax, dude. Let's place a trap and let's wait for one of them. And then let's pop them some, some sleeping gas. And let's do that. Is that... Okay, that really didn't go as, as well as I wanted it to. I was trying to like have like the the ground thing blow up to have the to have it like blow up with the barrel, but it is what it is. Boss of the Frankly Frankie family. What does he have for aerial stuff? Oh the hammer, nice. He only has like a one hit in the air. I guess that's what is that? I have no idea. Okay, interesting. So Usopp has like a one hit smackdown with the hammer. That's cool. Alright, Frankie, go to sleep. I'll give him this. Frankie, at this point in the story. Do you remember this good? Don't go up against me if you want to live. Yeah, Frankie in this arc was actually like to me like really scary. Like how badly he beat up Usopp and everything. It was like actually pretty nuts what happened. <laughs> Dude, I was just playing. I was just playing as him. This the scene is not supposed to be funny, but like it just cut from me like killing like about two thousand people, and then it's just like, <laughs> boom. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. This is honestly to me top five like pre time skip moments. It's not even about the money anymore at this point. Exactly. Like, this part of the story, at this point, like, everyone's, like, really close with each other, and, like, like, they don't give a shit about the money anymore. They never give a shit about the money anymore if it concerns their friends. Bro, when Luffy said that, I mean, here it's cool too, but in the anime, or in the manga, like his face, bro, I don't think Luffy has ever said to anyone that he would crush every single bone in their body. Like, he's never said that to anyone except the Frankie family, at least from what I remember. Like, he'll always say, oh, I'm going to beat him up or I'm going to kick their ass. But like, this is like, like they were angry. This was like one of the best part. This section of One Piece of any Slapping Water 7 is peak One Piece. Oka, Frankie. So good, I know. My tana. Can you know you create a hunt on you? I got a new order. Frankie, the Atso Shimeagetum. Kaimono Sarta Ato Jana. うそっぷの大きい処置終わったぞ。とにかく船に戻るか。ルフィ。船よ。ん決めたよ。ゴーイングメリーゴとはここで別れよう。船はよ。
Oh no, not this scene. Uh, you know, I'm gonna dedicate this one episode to, to Usopp only. This episode is dedicated to Usopp. ちょうよ。そうじゃねえ。じゃなんだよ。なんで乗り換えるなんてくだらねえこと言うんだ。大事な仲間を、お前はこんなところで見殺しにするか。じゃあ、お前に判断できんのかよ。お前は船大工じゃねえだろ、ゾップ。どうそうだ。それがどうした。絶対に俺は見捨てねえぞ、コマクナよ。
And then imagine your captain going, oh, we're gonna get a new ship after like all that shit happened. On top of every all in insecurities that Usopp already had, like, it just, it makes so much sense why Usopp acted the way he did. Especially when he said, oh, so that's how you feel? Like, um, whenever like a crewmate is like, you know, whatever, like, you, you're just gonna look forward. Not everyone can look forward like you, Luffy, you know? That, well, he would, you know. It's such a, it's, it's such a great character arc for Usopp, man. And for Luffy, because he needed to, like, he needs to grow as a captain. Like, Usopp was talking to him way too reckless. For someone that's on his crew, he should not be talking to his captain like that. At all. And you could tell it was Zoro knew. Zoro was in the background, like, basically chilling. Like, you know, like, this is, you know, this is getting way too far, but... He's not as emotional as, like, Sanji or, like, the other ones. But it just adds so much, like, complexity to Usopp's character. But, yeah, like, imagine all of that on top. And the final charity on top is that you get a boat from basically his girlfriend that they give to first sail on the seas. And then Luffy's just like, yeah, we're going to get rid of it. We're going to dump it, blah, blah, blah. Because he's not thinking rationally at that point. He's just thinking like Luffy's gonna just dump it because it's old and it's it's broken. Like it's no use for him anymore. So it, it's it's all of Usopp's insecurities piled into one one gigantic moment that I felt had to be like coming, which is why like like that's why I felt like this moment was due in One Piece, and I it's what makes Water Seven and any sloppy so good. It just breaks my heart, man. メリーゴはお前の好きにしろよ。新しい船を手に入れて、この先の海へ俺たちは進む。じゃあな、ウソップ。今まで楽しかった。重い。それがキャプテンだろう。迷うな。お前がフラフラしてやがったら俺たちは誰を信じりゃいいんだよ船を開け渡そう俺たちはもうこの船には戻れねえからえっ<笑> Oh man, I really wish they kept in the shot of Luffy going like, uh, like crying after Usa or Zoro's speech under his hat. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode for the playthrough. Cause like I said, I wanted to just dedicate this episode to give some love to Usopp, um, and talk about his like really great character arc in Any Slobby and Water Seven. Cause to me, it's I mean a lot, a lot of people praise it in general, so I'm not even gonna like stick too long on that. So. Uh, with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe for you. Share the video if you enjoy. Especially leave a like and comment because that shows me you guys are loving the series and want to watch more and, you know, enjoying it so far. Um, but yeah, love Usab, love this moment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.